Hi y'all, Christine Byer here, licensed esthetician for 19 years. And if you are interested in maintaining a youthful look throughout the years, there are some home use machines that are imperative to have. And if you're trying to figure out your plan for aging gracefully, this is the video for you. Stay tuned. I have been getting numerous questions about what to use on my skin at home, what machines, out of the plethora of machines that are out there, what should I choose? And I was thinking about this question and really it's quite simple. There are two types of machines out there, right? There are machines that break down the skin that cause a controlled injury to increase fibroblast activity and fibroblasts are these cells that spit out new collagen and elastin and everybody loves their fibroblasts and wants to keep them as active as possible. And there are machines that add energy to the skin and help the mitochondria and help the fibroblasts to perform optimally. An example of a machine that adds energy to the face and to the skin to help it work optimally is microcurrent. And everybody knows I'm the microcurrent queen over the years. I have taught many, many moves and showed the benefits of microcurrent. And microcurrent is really good at increasing ATP. And ATP is adenosine triphosphate. It is the, the energy that the cells, the mitochondria make. And if you don't have ATP, you're gonna be in a puddle on the floor. You won't have any energy. Microcurrent is a great home use machine and microcurrent works in a couple different ways and the reason it's grown in popularity like crazy is because in addition to lifting muscles it plumps muscles and so as we age we lose volume in our face it's great to have something that works on the skin as well as the muscles underneath to give that plumpness that we need to restore as we age Everybody knows as well, if you've been watching my videos in the past at all, you know I'm crazy about the mini, the Claire Blend Mini. These come in all different colors. They just came out with a really beautiful sapphire colored one, and they have a new hot pink that's even cuter than the violet one they had. And these are great because they're easy to use. You basically plug them in and you're ready to go. Uh, they're easy to travel with. And anytime you feel like, oh God, my eyes are so saggy, I need to, I need a lift, you just grab your microcurrent and go. It's pretty fast as far as results. And let me just show you what I'm talking about. I'm just gonna do my neck, because <laughs> I have cleansed my neck. To use microcurrent, I mean, I'd love if you would buy the mini, but there are a lot of good machines out there right now. Of course, not always as advanced, and there's a lot of junk come from China. And all I can say about that is don't do it because really the magic behind microcurrent is the Arndt Schultz law. That basically says that the lesser the physiological stimuli, the greater the physiological response. And so less is more essentially. And so this is 500 microamps, which is 500 millionths of an amp. You don't need a sledgehammer when you're doing microcurrent and a lot of people get confused on that and, and think that you really have to bludgeon yourself with this electric current that is really unpleasant to use and that is not the case at all. Something that's really cool about this is that you can either plug it into the wall, which I have one of these plugged into the wall, or you can plug it into one of these little $5 battery packs, you can buy these at Walmart. Just make sure that they don't have a button because for, for some reason they turn off if they have the button. But yeah, these are $5, they're in the electronics section at Walmart, so you can use it in front of the TV or whatever. Less is more with microcurrent. I mean, you should not be able to feel the current. If you can feel it the whole time and it's miserable, it's just too high. And the issue with that is the, the famous Chang microcurrent study where they did testing on mice skin and um, mice, mouse skin. And anything over 500 microamps started to deplete ATP. So that ATP we talked about earlier, the energy 
that the mitochondria of the cells make uh, that gets increased with microcurrent, that starts to deplete. You get this law of diminishing returns. It's like that third ice cream, you know, this body's going no more ice cream. So it's, it's kind of the same thing. So if you can feel microcurrent and it's really uncomfortable, you can bet that your machine is just too high. So either turn it down, make sure you check specs on your machine and, and make sure that it's within the 500 microamps or less range. Because it's really, it's counterintuitive, but the lesser the physiological stimuli, the better the response. So the, the better the lift. And so these are actually at 340 microamps and they have a, a cycling frequency, which means that they hit the skin at different layers. And so it goes deeper, lighter, deeper, lighter, without you having to do a thing. You just turn it on and you go. And so it really is a multifaceted little machine. And I love that about this because it's like a no-brainer type of use. And I have two because I like to get my treatments done fast. And I don't know if you can see. I love microcurrent. <laughs> So I'll do this quickly before I go to a party or, you know, in the instructions, it's, it's like it takes you 30 to 45 minutes to do a full face. But the truth is just a little bit of microcurrent done daily is better than one session that's an hour long on Sunday. You know, it's like exercise. That's a little brief introduction to microcurrent. Another machine I think that people should have is LED. It's another one of those machines that increases cellular turnover. And LED is nice because it has a sort of a delayed effect and one good session of LED can remain active in the skin for up to 14 days, which is really nice. And NASA did studies on this back in the 80s, maybe the 90s, and they did studies on astronauts to help them heal in space because it's really hard to heal in a non-oxygenated atmosphere. And so they're always trying to find things to help astronauts heal up in space. And they found out that LED increases cellular turnover by three to five times. So that means that your cells are in a state of accelerated repair for up to 14 days after one good LED session. Now, LED is slow. It can take a couple months to see a nice result, six to eight weeks but it is another way to keep your skin in tip-top shape without depleting it. I would not overuse LED because it would be like too much exercise and not drinking enough water where you just get dehydrated. And there are some machines that they say to use every day. I respectfully disagree. I think that there is such thing as too much LED and you will get the skin uglies. So those are two types of machines that actually increase ATP without injuring the skin. They do not cut or ablate the skin in any way. They just add energy to it. So to increase the energy, increase the cellular turnover of the skin. The second type of machine that you need is the ablative type of machine. And really most of the machines that they sell over the counter are pretty tame. This would include like the Haifu machine that I demoed in my last video. Also would include home radio frequency. It would include home laser. It would include microneedling, home microneedling. Also peels would be included in this, although not a machine. Anyway, those are your major categories. I would say home laser, home radio frequency, microneedling at home, a peel and oh god i'm sure i'm missing something else because there's just so many that trigger the wound healing response microdermabrasion also right there with a peel what you want to do is combine them and i don't think i would combine them on the same day although led does combine well with most everything but i wouldn't want to overdrive the skin and you definitely want to be nourishing the skin if you're asking the skin to do all this you really need to make sure that you're nourishing it. So you need to add some really powerful anti-aging products like Neogenesis. I just wanna make sure that you know that you need two types of machines or two types of actions to really keep the skin in tip-top shape, especially if you have 
you're starting to see the beginnings of large pores or you have textural irregularities, scarring, any type of thing like that. You really want to up the ante and give the skin a decent workout, but I would alternate days and certainly not do anything that disrupts the acid mantle too much of the skin or, or tears away at the skin too much. So like microneedling, I'm not crazy about over microneedling. This is probably material for a whole other video. As a matter of fact, it is. I'm not gonna go into that right now. But I just wanna make sure people know that they need both types of machines and they need to use them. I would use them on separate days unless it's LED, which does help with recovery and helps calm the skin. Um, that's it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like this video, comment if you have any questions, and I'll see you next time around. Bye-bye now.